is up guys, Coldly here, welcome back to some more of our Pokemon Gold Wedlock. So our lock has officially begun, uh, we, you know, chose our starter that you guys voted for, uh, and we got, uh, two, oh, three encounters, but two of them caught. Kenny and Mariah is our first pair, and then Hestia, our Hypno, is just out here waiting for someone to come by. Uh, which was gonna be a Tauros, but the Tauros was not all about, uh, was not all about Hestia and what she had to offer. He was not about that sub-life, apparently. Uh, <laughs> so, our next chance for an encounter, we, we gotta fight Joey. We gotta fight Joey, he's, he's Joey. But, at the same time, uh, he's not gonna be called Joey. But our first trainer battle, interested to see what we get. Developer Jonathan with a Magmar. Can oh. you know? Okay. Our first chance to get an encounter will be uh, a little bit further on from here. I don't know what Magmar starts with. All we have is Comet Punch. There are no abilities, thank God. So we don't have to worry about catching catching no flame body. Ooh, crit, let's go! Let's, okay, that was that was a three hit, okay. Let's see. Oh, you have fire punch! Oh, are we done for? Oh, Lord. Two. Come on! Ah, okay. Oh, shit. Alright, Mariah hit level five. These Gen 5, or Gen 5, level 5. These Gen 2 movesets, or level up movesets, are going to break me. Um, I want to go back and heal, I don't want to... I don't have much money for for really anything, because I... We used a bunch of Pokeballs, so I had to buy a bunch more. Um, but... I looked up, like, kind of what Kangaskhan gets. I don't remember right offhand. Hi, Tauros. Um, but I do know that it's not great. <laughs> I do know that. Uh, might as well kill this Toro. Should push Kenny to level 9. Uh, okay. It's gonna be... Come on, this is just a, a normal ass. Alright. I don't want to start, like, the whole blipping through with speed up, but unimportant things. Uh, hello, Eevee. Uh, oh wow, that Tauros actually gave us a lot of experience. Here we go. Yeah, Kenny, level 10, double digits. Let's go. Okay, and I, I would like to level up Hestia, but level 2, I'm worried, honestly. But we got your Pokemon trainer, right? Then you have, then you have to battle. I mean, you're blocking the way, you have no choice regardless. Uh, developer Zoe with a Sandshrew. Okay, Kenny got this. Kenny got this. It's level 2 Sandshrew. So Hestia actually could have gotten this, but... We can't swap to Hestia. Hestia has to lead. But one shot, let's go. And a Girafferig. Uh, we are poison types, so Maria is gonna need to come out here. I really hope... Girafferig does not start with Stomp. Stomp is like... I know in Gen 1's... There it is. But we are... We do outspeed, so it... It actually should not matter. Like, Stomp is that move that pisses you off because it just... Always, always, always gets the flinch on you. And I, I feel like... In Gen 1, maybe Gen 2 as well, it it had a higher chance to flinch, and that might actually be true, or it might be just one of those things where it just feels like it. I don't know. Ooh, look at that. Mariah hitting level 6. Good shit. Okay. Uh, I think we have one more trainer. You. I'm not, oh, you're not a trainer. Okay. You're a trainer in Storm Silver, though. Are you a trainer? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Sort of a bug Pokemon, I found a trainer! Uh, you're probably not gonna have a bug Pokemon with you, either. 
What are you gonna what are you gonna throw at me? A uh, ghost rider Noel? An odd A, we have one of those. Ours is better though. We got Kenny. Kenny's indestructible. We've got into Mariah. Absorb. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring it. I'm curious. Uh, every time I click out of the emulator, though, uh, it does does pause. I just I wanted to bring up the gold, silver, crystal decks for Kangaskhan. Uh, there it is. Um, yeah. So because this is before the physical special split, our next attack that we get is gonna be bite. And it's gonna be a special move. We got a Natu coming in. Oh no, Zatu. Oh, I mean you're still only level three, so I'm feeling pretty confident. Oh, oh, and the crit. Good shit. Hitting level seven. Uh, we should learn. There's Leer. It'll be a bite. It'll be a special attack, which isn't gonna probably go too well. Like I don't know what Kangaskhan's special attack is. But I can't imagine it being, like, anywhere. Uh, yeah, it's half of our attack. It's 10 right now. We have 20 attack. So not gonna be a great option, but... I mean, we got... We're gonna be rocking out with that until Mega Punch at 25. But we're, this is a new route. So, Hestia's new bachelor is... Are you... You are male? A gold dean, huh? Okay. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and straight up throw a Pokeball at you. Because <clears throat> it's just a Goldeen, and it's level 3. Uh, come the fuck on. Tail Whip. Yeah, stop that. We only have five Pokeballs left. Don't don't be playing these games with me, Goldeen. Come on. Two. Three. Bop. All right. So what the hell are we gonna name a Goldeen? Uh, the Goldfish Pokemon, it's dorsal, pectoral, and tail fins wave elegantly in water. That is why it is known as the Water Dancer. Hmm, what can we go off of that? Alright, alright. I think I'm gonna go hit up that, that Avatar Last Airbender, Desna, one of the two water bending twins. They don't really dance, but... All I could think of when it said water and dancing was Avatar the Last Airbender. So, Hestia's man's Desna is our second pair here. Uh, so let's see, Peck and Tail Whip. I kind of thought it had Peck. I, I got worried there when I was trying to catch it, because like, you, I think you have Peck. Um... I mean, we are a hip. It, it's a hypno. What else could we have found here, I wonder? Okay, another gold beam. Um. Oh, I, I really like Hypno's back sprite in this game. Let's put confusion up front. We have hypnosis. Our, our moveset, very solid. Very, very solid. What about damp? Oh. Uh, about defense? Uh, okay. This is why I kind of reluctantly put them out front. Uh, oh, look at that. We got the confuse off confusion. Hit yourself. Hit yourself. Oh. Come on. Y you need this experience, though. Like, really badly. I hit it up with a pound. Confuse no more, and another tail whip. Not going. Okay. Really, really out here trying to lower our defense. I see. I see. Alright, well, we hit level 3 off that. Almost level 4, goddamn. Uh, you're not a trainer, are you? No, uh, you just tell us about Dark Cave. Uh, we got our first field item. Energy Powder. I have no idea what that does. Is that one of those, like, herbal healing medicines? Uh, yes. 50 HP, bitter. But I'm pretty sure 
Uh, Pokemon happiness in this game is non-existent, so it doesn't really matter. A protein... Uh, I, I can't remember which, which of the drugs do what. Raises the attack of a Pokemon? Uh, here you go, Mariah. Why not? Why not? I, eh, maybe selling that would have been better, actually. Uh, we got a bitter berry. What does a bitter berry do? Does it have any, like, special property? Uh, self cure for confusion. Okay. I don't think you battle. No. Not too far looking for Pokemon today. Okay, that's just a clever way of saying put Pokemon to sleep. Easier to catch. Um, speaking of being able, you know, catching, I do want to try my luck in Dark Cave, but not with a level two and a level. Well, I guess level three and a level three. So let's go ahead, see what we can scoop up. Um, I gotta remember. So I want that item. Oh, okay, our Dark Cave encounter is... A Tangela. Female Tangela. Because this would be the start of a new pair, the, the gender does not matter. Um, it's level two. I feel like Tangela is kind of hard to catch because it's, it's, again, it's a, it's a strange mon. It's... I mean, in Kanto, it appears on... Oh, there it is. It appears on that one route under Pallet Town in the grass. Let me just try a Comet Punch and hope for... Uh, nope. Nope. Well, there goes our Dark Cave encounter. <laughs> Alright. Well, let's at least... Kinglers are in here. Ooh. Okay. Just go through that real fast. Okay. Up a bit. What else? Kingler again. Hurry up and kill it. Okay. Oh. There we go. All that for a charcoal. Uh, well, it doesn't help us right now. It might in the future. All right. So what? That's <laughs> two encounters already failed. Oh, that is a trainer. I kind of wanted to fight that with Hypno, but maybe, maybe this is maybe this is good. Let's see. You do have four mons, so this is. Probably best that we didn't go in Hypno. But granted, at this point in the game, having four mons means they're all gonna be really low level. But, because randomized, who knows what's gonna show up. Uh, okay, so Star you Ditto! Imposter's not a thing. Abilities ain't here. <laughs> He's adorable. Alright, nice two hit Comet Punch. Good shit, Kangaskhan. Mariah is out here, hitting level nine. What? What? What's next? What do you got? Ivysaur. Oh, I like Ivysaur, um, but I don't want to fight an Ivysaur with an Oddish. Uh, but a level three Ivysaur is just gonna have what tackle? Well, it's not gonna have anything because it's dead. Hell yeah. And finally, a nine tails. So Hypno. Could have done this pretty, pretty easily. Also, we are out of comet punches. <laughs> Perfectly got through all those, all those mons. Uh, so you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and put Hestia out front. So let's let's try this. I don't even know if there's any trainers left. To be honest, it might just be too late. Uh, Paris is here. Adorable little Paris. A lot of grass types that we've seen so far. There were some Floras on the previous route. Um, 
Tangela in the cave, Paris, eating the confusion. I don't know what Paris gets a level four. I know you're a bug type of scratch. That makes sense. Uh, let's go for a pound. Wow, that did even less. <laughs> and already confused no more. What type of horse shit? Come on now, Hestia. There we go, taking that Paris down, hitting level four. So much experience from just a little Paris. Oh my god. Uh, I found a good Pokemon in Dark Cave. I'm gonna raise it and take it on Fal and take on Falk. Okay, so that was the last trainer. So we have officially reached Violet City. I came too far out. I better phone home. Okay. So when it comes to uh, Violet City, I think the only real thing, I mean, there's a trade, I believe, in this building. I did randomize trades. I doubt we can do it, but it might be good to keep in the back of our head in case something happens. Uh, but if you don't have the right, yes, yes, so is it you that wants to trade? I collect Pokemon, do you have Pupitar? Okay. You gotta be offering something real, real good if you want a Pupitar. I'm gonna trade for my Della bird. No. And if I ever get a Pupitar, I am not coming back to make that trade. God damn it. Okay, so. But. Uh, I don't remember. It's been so. such a long time. Uh, I know we can get an encounter in there. Gym. Uh, we probably. Hmm. Is this route. Let's talk to this guy. Doesn't he give us. I was gonna snap that tree with my strength arm, but I couldn't. I'm a failure. Don't you give me strength or something? Maybe. Maybe not yet. Okay, we got Runes of Alf coming up. We got a lot of count encounters. You don't do anything important, right? No. Just talking about the odd tree. I'm curious. I don't remember the levels of this gym. How many trainers are in here? I think there's two. I don't know that I want to fight this guy with a level four. Um... I mean, Sprout Tower is probably just all around the better option. Let me go ahead and... I want to put Kenny back up front. I'm still, like, kind of afraid of Desna and Hestia getting absolutely put away. So let's go ahead and look around in here. Hello, old man. I know you want to battle. We'll see how we fare in this here Sprout Tower. Sea King! Hi! You're probably gonna have Peck. And because you're a Sea King, that kinda worries me. But, uh, we're seven levels higher, so... Oh, can he please? Can he please? I'll tell you what, alright, we good. We good. Okay. And then... Entei. Oh... Okay. Okay, let's... Can we calm it down? I would very much like to calm it down right now, sir. Alright, three three punches and Mariah is in here. Taking Entei down before it can show any signs of threat. Oh. Okay. And a Dratini. Little old Dratini. Adorable. Also, Mariah just hit level 10. We got the double digit. Come on. Come on now. Double digit couple. Is this broken rap? Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No, it's not. Okay. Oh, jeez. It was just the immediate rap and then the, you know, the. The damage afterwards. Okay, I thought it was Gen One wrap. I mean, we're in Gen Two, but I I don't remember when they took it out. I guess after Gen One. Uh, Paralyzed Heal. Okay, that 
can come in quite handy. Still haven't found a Mon. Uh, well, I don't think we can on this floor. Uh, oh, I kind of actually wanted to switch Hesky up front. You got three Mons. You got a Rhyhorn. Okay, Kenny is going to eat that. Nice one meal of the day coming through. Gone. Okay, and then level 11. Let's go, Kenny. Uh, Kalefa. We'll go into Maria, or Maria, Mariah here. Why does Kleffa look like that? Kleffa's so stretched out. Kill it. There we go. Get it out of here. Getting like no experience with that. And a Staryu. We have already taken out Staryu. Nice two punches. Come punch actually coming through. It has not been a terrible option. But then again, it is a Kangaskhan. I mean, whenever I think of Comet Punch, I think of Ladybug. So, of course, you're you're gonna have issues if, you know, <laughs> that's the Mon you're using using Comet Punch with. Okay, let's see what we got up here. An Elixir, okay. Not bad. Still haven't found an account. Aha! Right as I'm speaking, we got... Hello. Mr. Mime. Alright. That was a... That's not crit damage, Hestia. Now it's raising its defense. Confusion. And don't kill it. I know that's resisted, but like, it used barrier. It's continuing to use barrier. Does Mr. Mime have anything other than barrier? I'm worried. It definitely outspeeds me. I know Mr. Mime can be pretty good. In this game, I have no idea. Oh, it's speed. It's a speed tie. Mm. Okay, it's just it's spamming barriers. It's at plus six defense. Um. I'm gonna go for Hypnosis. We land it. It's asleep. Uh, so let's throw a Pokeball and hope for the best. Come on. Nope. Hmm. Might fail another encounter. We have two Pokeballs left. It, you're, it's asleep. Come on. Come on. Oh my god, we have one Pokemon left. <sighs> I'm gonna pound. I want this thing's HP as low as possible. And it has max defense. So, I can pound once more. Might even be able to pound again, but I'm not gonna push my luck. I'm gonna go ahead and go for that hypnosis, put it back to sleep, and we'll throw our last Pokeball. Please. This. Nope. Nope! Out of curiosity, let me, uh. I, I wanna know what use is this in this game? And what... It's got a 45 capture rate. Same capture rate as, uh... As Kangaskhan. Uh... And it... No, it has only barrier. At level 6 it gets confusion. Uh, but it has only barrier right now. But Hestia hits level 5. <laughs> so many encounters. We don't even have Pokeballs now. Alright, sway like the wind. Okay. But don't tell me what to do, though. Lady Malcolm with a Sneasel. Oh. Oh yeah, this is back when Sneasel was blue, not, uh, not pink. But, uh, we only have a problem. Uh, 
Uh, I'm gonna go just straight for the pound. I, I feel like Sneasel at level 3 wouldn't have a dark move. And if it does, dark is special. And Sneasel's not a special attack. So we should be plenty fine to chill here. Come on, Hestia. Come on, Hestia. He's actually putting in work with those scratches, though. Getting whittled away out here. Hit level 6 with Hestia. And next up comes a Dragonite. What? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I don't... I, please don't have Dragon Rage. Oh, the confusion. <gasps> hit, hit yourself. Hit yourself. Rap, but it missed. Oh, 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 oh. We've seen Entei. We've seen Dragonite. This game wants me dead. This game wants me dead, like ASAP. It's not letting me catch anything. Like nah, you could be out here suffering. That's a weeping bell. Uh, I don't. If you have Absorb, then you know. I was tempted to go out into uh, Desna. Because Peck. But if it had Absorb, we would have been in trouble. So Hestia just taking care of it for her mans. Alright. Give me that. Scope Lens. That's a Gen 2 item. Did not know this. Hold up. Here you go, Hestia. And, uh, key items, key items, items. Oh. Uh, potion. Alright, let's hope for the best here. I would like to clear... Clear Sprout Tower out. Give one mon, and it is a Dodrio. Okay. What did it just hit? Super. Oh, pursuit. I bet. Let's say what hit me super effective. Gnosis. Didn't affect. Didn't. Aff Are we serious? Are we serious? Fucking. How does disable work in this game? I was like, I hit my mic on accident. Sorry about that. What the fuck is happening? I know Dodrio's fast as hell. But like, what the fuck is happening? Come on, don't, don't, don't do this to me. Thank you. Thank you. Scope lens coming through. Has to hit level eight, almost level nine. Lady Daniel, get out of here! Oh my God. Um. Uh. Come on. We, we got this. We got this. I believe we are going to be out here. Please. One mon. Lady Stacy with... Why? You also get Pursuit. Why? I don't know if you already have Pursuit, though. I hope you don't. Hey, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We need you to hit yourself. There we go, and then Confusion will finish off the rest. Let's go, Hestia. Alright, level 9. So much experience, I love it. Okay. I don't remember, do we fight a rival here? I legitimately can't remember. 
I know we fight the Elder. Hi. What is with all your mons? Every single person here had a fully evolved mon. And this is Rapidash, the Stomp Master. Please, Hestia. Oh, okay, Ember, okay. Can we eat this? Because that's a special move from her. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I was like, that's a special move from a Rapidash. We should eat that. Though it is eating our hits pretty damn well. But the main goal is Hestia is going to hit level 10. So everyone is double digits except for a newly acquired Goldeen. Um. Which is, it's fine, it's a gold beam. <laughs> Hestia is out here carrying her mans. Her mans is weak. Okay, uh, oh you got two, and a, look at you, Ponyta and Rapidash, both, really? Really? It's level seven though. Cause part of me thought, you know what? Maybe this is Desna Desna's time. It's not. It's not. But that takes out Ponyta. And Hestia hitting level 11. Alright, here we are. Uh, but I also... I don't know how many confusions I have left. And I really don't have... Things to heal with. Oh, we have eight confusions left. Yeah. Yeah, please hold. Before... We're gonna... Away. Before we take on the Elder. So I'm gonna do the Elder thing, because we're here, we cleared out the entire thing, might as well finish it off so that next episode, our main task is to take on that gym. And I don't know when we get our first rod, but whenever we get our rod, there are... I mean, we can get an encounter in this city and back in Cherry Grove. Let's hop over to the Mart real fast. Because after fighting all those old men, we should... Oh, yeah, we have 1,200. Um... Um... All potions. I know we need money for Pokeballs. But... I also don't want to die. I really should not have used that that protein. That using that protein was a big mistake. Big mistake. All right. And okay. Hestia, I'm going to I'm going to let Hestia lead the charge. You are indeed skilled as a trainer. As promised, here is your HM. But let me say this. You should treat your Pokemon better. The way you battle is far too harsh. Pokemon are not tools of war. Huh. He claims to be the Elder, but he's weak. It stands to reason. I never lose to fools who babble. Uh, who babble about being nice to Pokemon. I only care about strong Pokemon that can win. I really couldn't care less about weak Pokemon. What? Is that some sort of metaphor, you deadbeat father? Give me this item. Normally an escape rope, I believe, with a burn heal. Okay. Is it foreshadowing? I sure as hell hope not. We got Pichu's here. Aww. That would have been nice, especially level four. But oh well. All right. So good of you to come here. Sprout Tower is a place of training. People and Pokemon test their bonds to build a brighter future. To build a bright future together. I am the final test. Allow me to check the ties between your Pokemon and you. Bring it. How many mons you got? Three. Okay. Oh. When I said... When I said bring it, it was... It... It was a joke. Please don't blow me back. Uh... Okay. Okay, so let's say I didn't think about this. I don't know how to deal with Roar. I guess if we deal with Roar, we 
immediately swap back into... Or is Roar... Hmm. That wasn't a... Well... Hestia, your man's gone. He was too weak. Our first widow. Uh, okay. Uh. Huh. Flame wheel. What if this move set is too good? I mean, we ate it, but like, please. But I was just thinking, like, Roar. So, you know, Hestia, well, with Desna still alive in this situation, Hestia can only switch out to Desna. But if we got Roared into Kenny, do we switch back to the original pair? Or do we switch to Mariah because that's the only place Kenny can switch? Uh, Abra. You killed my Goldeen for this. Okay. Okay. Man, the elder out here, call, call him Widowmaker. Making, making widows out here. Uh, a muck. I'm upset. Cause this is, oh, I didn't mean to pound. Like this is, this is just baby food. I coulda, I coulda used the Abra as experience for Desna, but no. But no, I figured it's a, it's an RK9. Everything else we fought that was really low level had like nothing. But no, RK9 has like a full move set because RK9 RK9 gets to be a special snowflake. Also, I'm so glad. Well, I don't think it would have it at level 10. I was like, so glad you don't minimize. I don't want to deal with that shit. Triple hit, just for added sass. Lady Jimmy, aka the Widowmaker. Excellent. You under Pokemon should have no problem using this move. Take this Flash HM. So we got Flash, which I don't believe we're gonna need at all. Unless it's in Victory Road, because I can't remember if it's in Victory Road or not. But Dark Cave, we don't really ever have to go into. Uh, and then since this is gold, we don't have to worry about the Whirl Islands. Eevees are up here! Pichu and Eevee. Man. What the fuck? Yeah, this is horse shit. I mean, I granted, I probably wouldn't have caught a Cyndaquil if I couldn't catch Mr. Mime. But Mr. Mime was my encounter. And as we're leaving, we see Pichu, we see Eevee, we see Cyndaquil. I'm upset. But, of course, uh, because of the way the box system is set up in this game, I mean, it's better than Gen 1 boxes, I will give you that, but, um, I don't want to constantly mess with things. Oh, that's how I could have just released from there. Withdraw. So we're just gonna be releasing. I don't re like releasing so I can see everything that's dead, but... Sometimes sometimes you gotta move on. Some, you know, if you you're suddenly you're just in love, and then the next thing you know it, that person's gone. But you keep them around, it just makes the heartache worse. So... Uh... We're gonna release them. It's definitely, it has nothing to do with the PC, I lied. <laughs> no, it just worked out that way. Uh, but, that's, that's that, um, uh, I would, see, I don't have money to, to buy Pokeballs, like, unless it's charcoal, 324, oh wait, wait, no, I have three, four, yes, 
get rid of it. Holy shit. We loaded. We loaded! Okay, so... First things first, before we even take on the gym next episode, we will be getting Hestia, a new man's. Uh, but this is a bit longer just because I really wanted to get that knocked out. Uh, I, I felt like we would have gotten really any progress done otherwise. Uh, but, you know, this should not be the norm for our episodes. But hopefully you guys enjoyed nonetheless. We're already getting blown away. So that's a good sign. And I will see you all next time.